Green light. First set with the plasterboard cup set and ready. Favoured off the inside. Ready, set and racing, thrilling Butcher Fair. Early speed going the way here of Yannick and Jetson Blaze and out wide of the track. There we go to Dia. One or two running a little bit wide here. Getting pushed out there was the Ritzer Jack and also pushed to the tail, Corborn Witch. Off down the back they go. Merlin Blues found the lead and behind there we go to Yannick. Thrilling Butcher starts to run now. The big bloke, there's a hell of a gap in the field around there too. Russell Hart, Deanne's Fantasy followed back there by Ritzer Jack towards the tail. The Jetson Blaze and Randa Corborn Witch. Up they come and still kicking. Yannick will get home from Thrilling Butcher. Third across there was Merlin Blue Tidy. Then we go back there to Deanne's Fantasy, Russell Hart of Jetson Blaze towards the tail of the field there. We would have had the Corboard Witch. And last of all, there was Ritzer Jack. He just kept running tonight. Did the blue rug of Yannick. And a 30 and 53. We'll beat the one. Thrilling Butcher. Every chance off the top, one thought. And then we go back to the two. Merlin Blue and the eight. 4, 1, 2 and 8, 30 and 53, the winner's time. Butcher inside, outside, where am I going? I'll line him up and have another crack out wide. This dog just kept kicking, didn't it, to Yannick and hold on, held on by a half. Lock and bar, Brando, Ginger Rango, Just Jordana, Mammy Brown. Threat, Corborn Phillip, Sasha's one and Gordon Bale off the outside. Up goes Threat for Wayne Steele. And we're all but set to go. Second heat of the plasterboard Auckland Cup for 2014. Green light flashes. Aaron lets the bunny go. Set and ready. Racing. Lock and Var Brando out. A OK early speed out wide here too with Gordon Bale. Might go to the lead from Lock and Var Brando who pushes up. In behind runners there is Corborn of Phillip followed there by threat. Pretty handy. Pushing along the inside there. Now we go to Mammy Brown. It's outside there is Ginger Rango. Just Jordana and Sasha's one. Off down the back they go and Lock and Var Brando. As Schofield found a good box of meat tonight. Further back in transit, there we go to Corborn Phillip. That's been followed back there now by Ginger Rango, but Lock and Var Brando. Then we go Corborn Phillip, followed back here now by Ginger Rango. That's been followed further back in transit here. Uh, we would have had Gordon Bale. Gordon Bale's been followed. Uh, gee, they're spread out here. Gordon Bale's been followed further back here now uh, by, we had Mammy Brown was back there. Threat was back there. And uh, towards the tail of the field uh, would, would have been at Sash's one. But the one will get you home here. It's absolutely street at them. We'll beat the four, the three, and the eight to here. Wow. It's been pretty impressive, hasn't it? Uh, just raced away. Lock and Var Brando had uh, two heats. The cup, Janik took that out. Uh, the first heat. Then we go the way there of uh, Lock and Var Brando. And uh, also picking up that uh, heat uh, of the sprint as well with, you know, Lockham. Into the bend we go. And the pink rug was up there firing up. But the red rug just runs straight underneath. And that was the end of the section. One, four, three, and eight. What have we run? 30 and 36. Travelling Joe it is, isn't it? Yes, it is. And code nine off the outside. That's your fave. <coughs> That's your fave. The eight, code nine. Green light goes. The last heat of the plasterboard. Uh, Auckland Cup. Ready, set. Racing. Getting away right was Opawa Sasha out wide the track. There he starts to pour it on as Code 9 might cross and find the lead. He does the big bloke. Code 9 hits the lead away by two or three. There we go back then out to Opawa Stretch. Heading around the outside is Valaine's Flyer. Followed there by No Class. Reasonably handy. That's followed a length or two back by Check the Mail. Then we go to Indy Road. And last of all, there is Travelling Joe off the top. They come and it's a one dog affair. Code 9. Have a look at the clock when he hits it. Uh, further back there now we go to No Class running on strongly up wide of there. Valaine's Flyer. But he's in Code 9. Nice run here uh, from no class. Then we go back there now to Verlaine's flyer. That's been followed home here by Check the Mail. Further back there was Opawa Stretch, Indy Road. And towards the tail of the field there was Travelling Joe and it didn't spot Coco Wiz. He just trotted across there now. I don't know if he uh, come to grief or what. This dog's flowing in front. He's gone quick I'd say. The 8. And 30 and 30. Well there it is. He draws the 8 in the final. Catch me if you can. Uh, beating the 2-0 no class. That was tidy, wasn't he? He's legged it to, to the line. Then we go the way of the 7 and the 3. 8, 2, 7 and 3, 30 and 30. That run in 14 and 83. We'll get those first two splits in a moment or two. Ping the lid and gone. Uh, wasn't he uh, code 9 as expected? Uh, he's just jumped and run by global warning of, uh, warming from chains of the Craig Team C Holland owns 3.5 uh, by 2 links.
as um, the red showed up early opar was stretched 473 15 and 47 14 and 83 there he's just crosses and away he goes gee grows other leg off the wide doesn't he uh, does this bloke a code nine and the second one it was a two no class for Cleavy uh, by Willie Watt from Blue Fern and seven third of Elaine's flat's gone cheeky primo you know girl leg for Tommy Patton uh, we await that